far into the night. I raise my hand. Evo, I'm just gonna be showing you how to get more FPS whenever you play games. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start. Um first thing you're gonna do is click on start and go over to my computer and click properties. Advanced system settings settings and then adjust for best performance and click apply next you're going to go over to advanced and put the processor scheduling on uh, programs if it's on background services and then over on virtual memory we're just going to go and click change if you have over eight gigabytes of ram you can go ahead and just turn off the paging file you don't need it but if you have less than eight gigabytes then i suggest just keeping it on and turning it on at uh, the recommended amount so that's that. Um, next, go over to system protection and click configure. Uh, you can set it to 1% or you can uh, just turn it off in general. I turned it off because I find I don't need it. So that's done. Next, you're going to click on start again and type in msconfig in the search. Wait for it to load. Next, go to boot, change the timeout from 30 to 3, check no GUI boot, and then click on advanced options. It should look something like this. Um, just check on the number of processors and then go up to your maximum number. And then on maximum memory, just check that and it'll automatically go to how much you can use. So click OK and click apply and wait for it to change everything. Next, go to startup and select everything that you don't need starting up, just uncheck it. And just check whatever you want starting up with your computer. Next, click OK. And it'll ask you to restart your computer, but just click on restart later. Um, next, you're going to click start again, right click my computer, then go to manage, then go to services and applications, services, and you're just going to disable the uh, following things that I disable. If you're on a laptop or you have wireless internet connection, don't disable anything that involves a network or internet. So with that out of the way, we're just going to go ahead and disable application experience. So right click it, click stop, and then set the startup type to disabled. Uh, same with Bluetooth support service, turn that off. Google update service, you can go ahead and turn that off. Home group listener and provider, you can turn that off. IP helper, you can turn that off if you're not on a laptop. Uh, security center you can turn that off unless you don't have an antivirus which I would suggest getting one but if you don't have an antivirus and you have it disabled like me then you should just use it rain on what you download and don't download anything fishy uh, disable super fetch disable TCP slash IP net BIOS helper uh, you can leave themes how it is if you want I would recommend just turning it off you can disable Windows Firewall and Windows Search. So with that all done, now we can go ahead and search power, then power options, and then set it to high performance. It should be on balance or power saver. Set it on high performance. And uh, yeah, next search device manager. Go to disk drives and then click on your disk or hard drive. Go over to policies and then uh, check turn off Windows right cache buffer flushing on the device. Uncheck that and it'll make your hard drive work a little bit faster, I find. Next search percent, temp percent. And just, and just delete everything in here. And if it says uh, it can't delete it, just click skip. Uh, click on run. Type in prefetch. Disable everything in here. Next, just uh, right click on your desktop and go to your video card control panel. I have AMD. 
a lot of people have NVIDIA, but um, it's essentially the same thing. You're gonna go into th gaming and then 3D application settings, and then uh. Uh, one second. I'm probably gonna fast forward this or edit this out. Okay, so now that this is open, you should see the uh, AMD Catalyst icon down here. Just right click on that and then go up to your first uh, core, I guess. Go into 3D settings and it's on standard settings, click optimal performance. Do that again, except uh, go into Catalyst AI texture filtering quality and turn it to performance as well. Next, you can go into my digital flat panels and properties. You can check enable GPU scaling and that will use your S GPU and get a CPU to scale your image unless you are on native. Next, we're gonna download a program called um, CPU on Park App. CPU on Park App, right here. Click on the coder bag one. Come all the way down to download application executable files. Open up the zip. Extract it to your desktop. Open it up and then uh, unpark CPU and then check status. Wait for it to uh, come up. Taking a little bit. Alright, all mine are unparked, but um, if you've never done this before, then you should have a certain amount of them parked. Just click on unpark all, and I've already done that, so I'm going to close that. Uh, next, you're going to click on start again, go into control panel, programs, and then turn Windows features on or off. And you're going to turn off games, unless you actually play any of these, so uncheck that. You're going to turn off Windows Explorer, unless you use it. On media features, uh, you can disable everything besides Windows Media Player. Down here, you can disable XPS Viewer and XPS Services, along with Windows Gadget Platform. And then click OK. Um, next, you're gonna go into Downloads and just clear out this entire folder. Alright, next you're going to download a program called Advanced System Care. Should be somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. Um, just download a program called Advanced System Care. Download the version 7. And it should look something like this. Uh, once you download it, I'm going to put a key to the program in the description so that way you can just use that key to activate it. So with that done, you're just going to open this up and go into toolbox and click program deactivator. Next you're going to disable a lot of things that are enabled by default like Google Chrome, some games you play. Uh, don't disable any of your drivers though unless you want the most performance possible, but I wouldn't disable your drivers. But just disable whatever you don't need running in the background. Next, you're gonna click on Registry Cleaner, Scan, uh, Disk Cleaner, Next, and then it'll scan and you can delete all that. Internet Booster, uh, Optimize All, And then empty folder scanner, scan. And all that is 
is about done. Just delete all the empty folders I find. And this is almost done scanning. But once everything that I just told you to scan is complete, just click fix now, you know, finish and all that. Uh, now that that's done, we're gonna click on this little more settings button and then go into settings. On malware removal, we're going to uncheck skip files larger than 100 megabytes and check enable full detection. Click apply. Registry fix, check everything, enable deep clean, privacy sweep, set it up how you want, junk files clean, copy what I have onto yours, you can pause the video, system optimization, select the computer optimization to top performance and then network optimization to whatever type of network you have, click apply, go down the user interface, change it from smiley face to AVC if you want. And you can change the skin as well. So with that all done, all you have to do is click on scan. It'll scan everything. Once it's done scanning, you can click repair. When it's done finish, when it's finished scanning everything, uh, you can go ahead and restart your computer. And because this is a uh, CSGO video, well, I play CSGO and it's the game I play, I'm going to give you some launch options. So I'm going to put these in the description, but you're just going to want to copy these into your uh, launch options in CSGO. And I'm also going to give you guys some FPS commands I'm going to put in the description as well. So you can throw those into your auto exec. If you guys need me to make a tutorial on auto execing, I will gladly do that. So you can just comment or PM me asking me to do one and I will go ahead and make one for you guys. But now that all of this is complete, once again, when this is all finished scanning, just click on repair and fix. And yeah, it should uh, speed up your computer a significant amount. I know it really sped up mine. It gave me a boost of around 50 FPS. It could give you a boost from anywhere from 10 to like 100. Or it could not give you a boost at all but make it more constant. So there's less FPS drops. But I have been doing this for my friends and they've all reported with good results. So, once again, I hope this helped you, and thanks for watching guys, I will talk to you next time.